Hello, I'm Julie Meek, sports dietitian. Today we're actually making something common but a little bit unusual. We're making hummus. And hummus is one of those things that is a really healthy snack or can be a healthy snack that has chickpeas, it has lemon juice, it has garlic, it has all kinds of yummy things in there. But sometimes they can be a little bit high in fat and it doesn't have enough protein. So today we're actually doing something a little bit different and we're making the hummus with lupin flakes. Now lupin flakes might not be something that you're aware of or you might associate lupins with plants that you've seen growing in the bush with the nice purple flowers. Well lupin flakes are actually produced right here in Western Australia and about 85% of the total global lupins are grown here, which is fantastic. They look like, a little bit like breadcrumbs. They're quite yellow and that is the colour of lupins. This is the lupins in the flake form and once you cook them, they change a little bit and they go really fluffy. And the lupin flakes, once they're cooked, look like this. So today, instead of making the hummus with chickpeas, we're using lupin flakes instead. And the ingredients that we have are oil, white wine vinegar, garlic, lemon juice, lemon zest and tahini which are really common ingredients in making a hummus. So first of all, you just need to get your ingredients ready and then the next bit is super simple. We're putting the whole lot of them into the food processor and then we're whizzing them up. This would have to be one of the quickest snacks that you could actually make. The beauty of hummus though is it doesn't need to just be a snack. You can use it in your lunch, you can use it as a spread which is a really high protein, high fiber spread instead of using butter or oil. And you can also add it to salads. You can add it to almost every meal. In fact, if you're slightly obsessed with hummus like me, you can pretty much find a place to put it somewhere in your day. So the first thing that we will do is put the cooked lupin flakes into the food processor. These guys are really easy to cook. So it was a cup and a half of lupin flakes that were dry in three cups of water for three minutes. That is the grand total of time that you need to cook them for. And once you've actually got cooked lupin flakes, you can put them into almost anything. So that will go straight into the food processor. So once all of these are in the food processor, then all we need to do is whiz it up. Okay, we're ready to go. Once you've whizzed it just for probably 30 seconds, it's a good idea to scrape down the sides of the food processor because sometimes the ingredients do tend to come up the sides. Okay, once you scrape that down on the sides, done. There is your hummus made with loop and flakes. So that's the first part of it. And then we really just need to plate it up. And here we have it, lupin hummus. Delicious, full of taste, really simple and easy to make, gluten-free, and one of the easiest things for a lunch addition, snacks, whatever you feel like having. Dress it up with a little bit of celery, some carrot, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, and some fresh herbs, and there it is.